Rick Lagina, Crank Tester, and Charles Markhouse head over to the area known as the Money Pit. They are in the early stages of finding out if recently conducted seismic testing has allowed them to pinpoint the precise location of the original treasure site, first discovered in 1795. What depth are we at? Down to 129. Just one day ago, the team from Choice Drilling began a new six and a half inch wide borehole known as DE6. There's your wood. Oh. Bring it on over. At a depth of 93 feet, they discovered evidence of a horizontal wooden beam, followed by a three-foot void. I love it. It was laying this way. Yeah. Not standing up. It's laying yeah. like this. So it could be the top of a, a tunnel. It was at this same depth that recent seismic scanning of the area revealed what could be a network of underground tunnels. That carries on into what looks like a larger network around the 100 to 110 footish range. Flood tunnel? Could be. Is it possible that Rick, Marty, and their partners have actually located one of the legendary booby-trapped flood tunnels? The tunnels, which many believe, were constructed in order to prevent searchers from finding the centuries-old treasure vault. What do you call them, the depth? 164. Getting anything? It's really soft. Right. See, I keep drill another whatever until you hit something hard. Sure. OK. Although the team is encouraged by locating a possible tunnel, they are even more hopeful to reach another one of the intriguing anomalies that was detected by seismic scanning, a nearly 30-foot-wide void at a depth of approximately 170 feet. It was at this depth last year that the team, while drilling with a 60-inch wide steel caisson, encountered what they believed could be the legendary Chapel Vault, a seven-foot-tall wooden box first discovered by treasure hunters William Chapel and Frederick Blair in 1897. However, instead of penetrating the vault, the caisson is believed to have actually pushed the mysterious object further down into the mud and off to the side. When we were doing the big can on H8, we had a, a plug where the, the, the bottom of the hole kept on being pushed to the side. So what was being pushed to the side? Drilling this well might indicate what was pushed aside from H8. So we were looking for any kind of evidence in that area. Fingers crossed we hit the vault or a debris field from the treasure itself falling. So it was an excellent place to be. Well, I hope we have something. I hope so. What would that something be you'd like? <laughs> I'd set it for silver. I don't need gold right now. One step at a time, yeah. right? something really, really hard. Wow. The Oak Island team has just struck an object at a depth of some 200 feet deep underground, an object that seems impossible to penetrate. What's your guess? It looks like we tagged something hard, which we assume to be an interface bedrock of some sort. A serious problem for you? I think he just should stop. We hit something around the 204, 205 range, so. Despite the fact that the team had previously recovered promising evidence from this same borehole, leading them to believe they might have located the original money pit shaft, hitting bedrock offers a disappointing development. It means they may have missed the large underground anomaly that was indicated on the 3D map created by the team's recent seismic scanning. It also means they will be forced to choose a different site in the hopes of locating the legendary chapel vault. We certainly didn't hit the center of the, of the anomaly, and, you know, that's good and bad news. But as long as the drill is down hole, there's hope. As usual, with all the things we've done to date on Oak Island, there's things to be learned, a few more questions, a few disappointments. Well, uh, you know, the tunnel, to me, it, very interesting. It either, if it's an original, it's fantastic. If it's a searcher, it helps us define where the money pit is. And uh, we need to get back and look at all the different maps, interpretations of where those tunnels were. Right. Definite disappointment. You know, we're hoping to find, you know, a cavern at this area, and we didn't. It's just part of the process.